Beep, 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 steal, 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 steal. <laughs> that's just as good, man. No. Yep. Can't fault all you for being good. Can't spend anything bad, though. We're right, ready to film this, uh, this year video radio podcast. Radio podcast, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I've been recording for, like, the last hour. Yeah. Trouble. Some of you said something about Hitler. <laughs> so that's why you have to cut out that part where you didn't reach out the cover. I was trying to say, how? Let's <laughs> take it on faith. Yeah, this is all. This is why we need cards that are uh, printed on both sides and no sleeves. Ooh. So that way your opponent can be like, okay, now I see what's going on. <laughs> it's, just, you can, it's perfect information. In the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's convenient in that you have to hold up all the cards. You know, key forwards, but you can't look at your own cards. <laughs> What? You play them facing out. <laughs> well, well, after you play your opponent's deck, I guess. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty nice. Yo, Yo what up, Shane? Cardigan you? weather? What? I guess. It's going to like a nice Rasta week. convention? Huh? You look like a, a humble shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> I sold this off of a friend, and it is super fucking comfortable. So it I'm looks like it. Yeah, yeah, it looks real good. Real nice. Can I touch it? Yeah. It's <laughs> nice. There's <laughs> hey, right. your cat. Uh, the leash is around here somewhere. I got it. <laughs> the noose. The leash. Yeah, the noose. Sorry. Can um, I leave you guys too? Peace. Bye. Okay, so welcome to Fair Magic, the podcast, Twitch stream, live extravaganza where we talk about uh, Magic the Gathering cards and whether or not they are fair. Psych! It's Keyforge. We're doing Keyforge cards this time. <laughs> Keyforge pre releases this week. I look forward to seeing how you come up with the uh, blank Keyforge cards. <laughs> oh, and how long until people accuse you of cheating. That's right, Future Will. I did that to you. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so does anybody have any like sweet Keyforge card ideas off the dome? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought about that. <laughs> The problem is there's already so many perfect Keyforge cards. So many wild cards. Like Secret Arts. Uh, Secret Needles. Yeah, I think that's good. probably one of the best Secret cards in the game. Really good. You know about Bad Penny? Yes, I know Bad Penny. Oh, but I don't, I don't, I don't, you have a Bad Penny, I don't have a Bad the Penny. The cycle of Bad Penny. The real combo in this game, as far as I'm concerned, is Fagin and Urchins. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, talk I know. about Fagin and Urchins. Fagin Fagin's and the Urchins are I don't, I, Other than... The urchin's dying. I don't understand what the point of his pick up the urchin's from playability. Play right, so you name shadows. I'll play an oh, urchin. Oh, because then they could steal I'll bounce yeah. it. I'll play an urchin. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot you can do that two times in a turn and reap once with the urchin. Well, and you, if you have secret needle too, you can hit him with your own secret needle, kill him, put uh, him in the trash, flip him again, yep. and repeat that process. Getting two That's actually the better getting way. Getting yeah. two instead of one, because yep. your secret needle gaining one for killing him, uh, gaining one for bouncing him. I would like to see an ability. In and you could still Sanctum read it first. that triggers on you having been stolen from in the last turn, like a guard patrol or like increased security. It's just like play this card, get a marginal bet, get like a four power duder with one armor. Like that's because that's what they have. But if they stole from you last turn, he like captures three. Just like ah, Tourette with one armor and a conditional. Uh, three. I think that they need to print a card that prevents you from. Gaining or losing amber until the beginning of your next turn. Yeah, some type of defense. Interesting. Stop, stop, stop captures and stop steals. Uh, like I don't a defensive, know if like a defensive wall. I don't know if this counts for the bet, but there is a knight in Sanctum. He's a four power duder with one armor, like they always have, and he his only text is you cannot be stolen from. He's the vault keeper. Yeah, but he he's a static effect for that. Yeah. Like I want one that also you couldn't gain. You want like an action. Yeah. Or you just do that? So you, just shut, you shut their ability down to, to you, gain you, or... No, so it prevents you from gaining or losing Amber until the beginning of your next turn. So, like, if your opponent then played that stupid four and give your opponent two, your opponent could just get four without giving you two. Interesting. That could be good. Yeah, the card I'm talking about. Whatever. For what, Lily Champ? Yeah. That yeah that's a terrible good. card. I don't know. The card is excellent. I but, think okay. I think I think the card that prevents your amber total from changing is broken. That's that is not fair yeah. no. That seems a bit ridiculous. But you also can't gain the amber on not your turn. Yeah. So fertility. That's chant. not relevant. It blocks fertility chant and tolus. <laughs> <laughs> that one artifact that these has blocks three cards. <laughs> yeah. So fair match. That's terrible. That is not fair. Keyforge. What are you gonna say, you? I do not recall. Does not recall. Yeah. Moving on. Scott, you have 
Do you want to blink on that one as well? Oh, oh brutal. Oh, no, this is a terrible episode. Yeah. Here we are, man. Just got jazz it up. So we were talking about um, actions that have Omni earlier. Right. That was nice. Um, so, so yeah, you did it. basically, here's what I'm thinking. It's like the card has a house, right? Yeah. But it also has an Omni ability, which is strictly worse than whatever ability is on it if you play it in the house. So you can play it off house, but it's worse. Yeah. Like, well, it, I mean, it's on the ability, so you can't play it regardless, right? It has two different sets of text. What about if they had... Oh, so you have a text that's... Yeah, that were also... You, you cast you got that benefit for another... So, so you have a text that's, that's specific to the card. Like, and then oh, you have oh okay. Text. Here's how you do it. Here's how you yeah. do it. You say that Omni actions can be played on any house, and then you give it a benefit if you play it at the correct house. That's way... That easier. seems a lot easier. That's fair. That's the same that thing. Seems same mechanic, just... Yeah. just yeah, that's that's how it's going to I think there's, there should be a card that's just Omni deal one damage. That could be good too. Or Omni if you play it in Omni Brobnar, deal two damage. No, yeah. if you play it in Brobnar, sacrifice all your creatures. Ah! <laughs> sacrifice everyone's one. creatures. <laughs> yep, that's Brobnar. Uh, like we were talking about, I think that um, uh, Bait and Switch should have some chain effect on it. I think Bait and Switch should have three chains. Uh, I think you should have three chains each time it resolves. <laughs> no! One chain each time it resolves? Yeah. That's fair magic. <laughs> Holy shit. That's actually super fair. That's extremely I fair. Mean, yeah. That is seems fair to me. Board. That's, yeah. that's the first card I hope you make. Bait and switch, but for each amber you steal past the first game one chain. It's called Jibate and Switch. Jibate and Switch. Jibate and Switch. It's <laughs> <laughs> the guy holding a Nintendo Switch. Oh, I would play that card, though. That sounds very nice. But well, you don't get a choice in the matter. I would, though. <laughs> that's key for it. It's common. No, there are cards where if I see it in the deck, I'm like, nah, new one in a quadrillion deck, please. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What is Will's top ten least favorite top cards? Top ten least keyboard. favorite cards in Key Forge, Bait and Switch. Oh, I hate it so much. No. Um, so, this is one of the things I really like about the game. We're not, we're like, not pitching this game. We're all super into it. Uh... There aren't really like bad cards. Like there's no well, rarity. the rarity system certainly means nothing. Yeah, rarity. Yeah, yeah bait and switch, common. Uh, Gage of Dees, common. Coward's end, common. Mother, uh, mother, common. common. Mother is a common. Mother is a common. common. That's <laughs> <a> common. <laughs> <laughs> like four mothers in this. Oh yeah. There's one with three that I've played. <laughs> crazy. Oh me. Oh, the, I want a deck with just like seven Titan. Uh, forgers or whatever. Do you know those Titan mechanics? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the <laughs> minus one. Yeah, why do you need more than two? <laughs> I just want to see a field of spice. Yeah, if your opponent kills one, you're like, interesting. <laughs> That's my favorite. One of my favorite themes of Keyforge is just like, because of the way the game works, you can just have giant dudes who also have dope abilities. <laughs> yes. Like, Titan, Titan Forger. Like, what the fuck? He's a six power dude. He's, I think he's seven, isn't he? No, he's, no, he's, seven. Seven. he's six. Okay. Mother is five power. Yeah, mother's. Yeah, mother's, five mother's five I think, power. my favorite creature in the whole game. What do you do about yeah. that? Uh, Mother's just impossible to kill, and you don't even have to be in Logos to get the benefit. In Dees, yeah. don't 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 shake your finger at at the Dust Imp. Dust Imp, um, Dust Imp is real strong. No one is shaking their finger. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> the flawed sacrifice like, for the. That thing is amazing. A workhorse. Um, I mean, like I said, if you can have shadows and have the uh, the the, ne uh, the needle, um, and then shoot your own. needle and just keep yeah, just popping awesome. your own amp. Yep, too good. It's the problem is though it's a two for one ratio, so it's not super great. Yeah, that's true. I mean, but, if, but if you have, uh, I put a, I put an M through the car wash before. What about that? What, what, about, what about that one? <laughs> I got the car wash. Yeah. What's that one card? From souls go in. Souls go back. That brings uh, the creature from your. Um, oh, hunting witch. No, no, no. no, no. He's talking about the one, this, the world tree thing that lets him put it on. Yeah. The oh, the artifact. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you, can bring, you can bring it on the top of your deck. Yeah. And top, you can top deck the A. That was a lot better when it was just any card you wanted. Dude, you know yeah. what? The, Didn't read that text, <laughs> right? Okay, here's the turbo spicy play with world tree. Your opponent has evasion sigil in play. Oh, oh that, that card. card is so punishing. You call untamed, and then you activate world tree and put a non untamed creature on the top of your deck. And then you just go kill whatever you want to go kill because Evasion Signal is going to mill a non untamed creature. You just get a free attack. <laughs> the Turbo Spicy. That's Let's get hosed by the Evasion Signal again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it only works once. So <laughs> you reap with the rest of your dust imps, but like, uh, or your uh, Dew Fairies. That is the Wolf Space method. Yeah, it only works once. You only need to get in with Mushroom Man once. Oh, that's I... true. He's so awesome. <laughs> they need more unsummoned abilities. <laughs> more us. There's one in these. And one, uh, there's one in uh, shadow. Yeah, actually, there's two in Dees. There's evacuation in Dees. 
uh, what, how can I get that? How much do I have to pay Richard Garfield <laughs> to get a deck with hysteria in it? Oh, oh no, I have hysteria. Hysteria, yeah. Well, I don't like that one so much. Wait, the problem. What's, what's evacuation? Am I thinking of the wrong magic card? No. No, you were right. I was thinking of the wrong magic card. Uh, okay. uh, the problem is, like, Keyforge, that's, that's a problem unless you pick up the house you are in. If you have a board full of Dees, you can evacuate and then but yeah, I'll pull your voice. Otherwise, it just hurts you as much as it hurts your opponents, unless you have no creatures. Yeah, you play Schuler, steal one. If they if they're at six, you can they go to five. You bounce all the creatures, play Schuler again. Like there's some sweet DC. Well, there's not that many DCGB effects, but some of them are pretty deadly. Yeah, and now if you could play it out of house, like with uh, the stupid logos card. I do not want auto oh. board wipes, dude. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. But the stupid logos card lets you play one. Oh uh, yeah, phase shift. Phase yeah, phase shift. Yeah. So you yeah. phase shift into it. Then that's pretty cool because then you can just drop your logos dudes again. Cool. Phase shift is uh, phase I, shift is dated. Master plan. That's what I want. Uh -huh. It's an artifact in uh, shadows where you put a card under it and it has an omni ability. Play the card under this card. Yeah. Sacrifice it. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I think every house should have an ability to play an out of house card. They kind of do. Bromnar and uh, Sanctum lets you play out of house creatures a ton. Uh, like that's yeah, no, but I just think it should be one a staple cycle that every house has a phase shift equivalent. And like one artifact that allows you to. No, like, just one an action. I doubt they're going to do that. Because nah. artifact lets you strategically plan it a lot better. Without. True. So you're saying if you're saying just an omni effect that allows you to. Yeah, just an omni action, or not an omni action, but an action that lets you play any card. Heads up for the people watching this. Artifacts are really, really good. Yes. yes. There's, there's very little to deal with them. Yes, can't sleep on artifacts. Can't, Especially can't when it's great. Really yeah. Just yeah. be able to pop it too. Ken is so ridiculous. It's just yeah. shock on artifacts. I mean, yeah, having two having I, two The needles cannons, are better now. I mean, yeah. The needles are good because you gain one. Yeah. And uh, the dagger, the reap dagger. Yeah. Honestly, having, having God, like, there's so many matchups where having a cannon out is just like, you cannot play X list of horrible creatures like Hunting Witch, Ember Imp, like... Uh, yeah, uh, and the can so makes you effective, yeah. in a way. Definity. It's like playing, um... Shit. What's the name of the Shadows guy that uh, lets you play with your opponent's artifacts? Oh, Nexus. uh, Nexus. Yeah, Nexus. It's like having Nexus out. Like no, you but you know what? Realize having Nexus out when your opponent has cannons. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. That's me every game. That yes, that did happen yes. to us, or to me rather. And I had two nexuses, and he had two cannons. Yep. Oh god! Yep. Oh and no! He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I three secret. He shot me up. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Creatures were dying everywhere. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, it was pretty bad. For real. Yeah. That's one of the rare times I've called shadows and not played anything. So yeah, I didn't realize this about Link was worth because we didn't have shadows deck in the store until yesterday. But this deck is like. Kind of equipped to go after Shadows creatures. Because they got like a ton of armor. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Is armor. They have a dude who just comes into play and kills elusive creatures immediately. Yeah, that's less scary to me than yeah, the guys with armor. What, that's what I like about Sanctum. I like the knights. I like all the armor. Just yeah, having the armor is boys really that, good. Armor's real good. Dude, what, uh, what the gray. Uh, gray monk. Yeah, the gray, gray monk. monk. Oh, that card is so Dude, a couple gray monks out. That card's a problem. Being able to reap, yeah. being able to reap yeah. with them, gain the ember, and you're healing people. Come on now. Yeah, gray monk is on a short. Like I keep a list of like kill on sight creatures. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Ian contested. Or uh, actually, Tom contested the fact that we went through a game where I yeah, was, I had to keep killing him. I was like one, and then he killed him. I was like, well, I'll bring another one right back out. Thank you very much. Yeah, I actually just realized that uh, I got my wish. I was posting on social media about how I wanted specifically a Brobnar Sanctum Untamed deck. That was the first one I opened. Not bad. Which one was that one? It's the one that has all the Grey Knights in it. You are I think one of you was just playing it. I think I was playing it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, got Brobnar Sanctum Untamed. Yeah, this guy right here. <laughs> No one's What's sitting, his name? The one sitting out on the table Sui right Sui Tony is the Archbishop of Penchester. <laughs> Sui Tony is. Doesn't even have that much capture or, like, interesting stuff in it, like, in the factions. But what it does have is, like, seven pounds of whoop-ass and a five-pound bag. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, that's correct. Fucking beat ass all day. Uh, I'm going to uh, make a crazy notion that I think they should start putting uh, procedurally generated flavor text on the... I would read that. Of uh, the character cards. <laughs> like, it's just like backstories for this. Let me hit you with this spicy nugget. How do you know they haven't already done that? Well, because we don't have information. <laughs> Our procedure, instead of the picture, just procedurally generated text. 
Ooh. He warrior was. That's gonna be when they run out of when Garfield's like, I retire, I'm done with this game. They're gonna like try and procedurally generate keyboard cards. <laughs> just gonna have Trample and Mountain Swallow come I, I'm ready for that set. Oh, I have the third set that's just computer generated. Yeah. Holy shit, I still would play it. Yeah. <laughs> We better get character bios. I, I need to know more about Swootonius, the Archbishop of yeah, Southern. But for the ones where the decks are like computer generated, they have a person write the names. Oh no, <laughs> that's, that's the best part. The names are definitely generated based on the archetype cards that are. Yeah, in the deck. that is confirmed. Yeah. yeah, to allegedly be true because I still don't believe there's an algorithm. I actually don't believe there's an algorithm. I think it's just guys writing cards. Yeah, I think it's just like a normal R and D team. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they only have, so there's no they're no they don't make the cards with the algorithm like that. Was yeah, the, the algorithm determines the number that are in the deck. Yeah, the algorithm just picks cards for decks. It just makes decks. Yeah, so I again I think it's just like four guys like us in a room. Also, like because we are all people who like make decks for a living, I want you guys to realize that that machine is like the progenitor of our replacements. <laughs> <laughs> Until it can sort cards, and that is it. Come back when you have <laughs> yes. Come back when you can sort ball. <laughs> Here's Come a, back when you can do the monkey. Here's a clear box. Deal with it. No one can do the monkey. And that's how I know we'll always have a job. <laughs> that's the robot test. Yeah, the monkey's been failing. I just keep adding the monkey sales. We pick somebody as a replicate. We make them do the monkey. <laughs> Is that the boy comp test? They just lose their shit. <laughs> uh, nobody knows what a monkey is. We could probably explain it. No. All right. Let it dangle. Tell you what. Let it dangle. Get yourself a shiny dollar bill. And come to the end games. Or a and dollar ask dollar about bill. the monkey. You'll find but out first, you have to give us the dollar. I'm that not going true. through the speech for nothing. Yeah, 100%. So you better have $6. <laughs> You'll have the most fun with $6. <laughs> yeah, it's the most fun you can have with $6 in America this year. That's true. You mean $5. No, because the first dollar goes to us to explain <laughs> how the monkey works. Remember? <laughs> no, the con. We give it away. Oh. I'll come up with $5. And then you get... Six rolls for five dollars. Is this the show yeah. where we talk about keyboards? Like, I don't remember. Yeah, I think it was. Wait, I was throwing spitballing cards left <laughs> and right. You were killing it, dude. I know. That's why I'm a professional. I was like, we need a ringer. Uh, so, what other card ideas did I actually have? Uh, I think there should be a spore frog. I mean, there's Spotify. Yeah, but it's Spotify on a body. Spotify on a body sounds pretty nice, actually. Because it's, yeah. it's easier to deal with if it's on a body, but you also have more control over when you can pop it. it yeah, it's a tap sack ability. Not a tap sack, just a sack, but I mean, yeah, you can only do it on your turn. Reap so. sack. Action sack. Ugh. I think it's I think it's fight, reap, action sack. Play? Not, not play. It's play, play fight, reap. reap. <laughs> That's, that would be rare. <laughs> no, it's everything but. It's not new strong shirt, but better. Also, I'm really regretting how many things we add to these cards after the fact, because that is difficult for me to do. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to do a lot of editing. It's just the same version of the card. We could have done CMC7 and been. No, you could have been doing this. We easy. actually couldn't. The weave of fate in the universe prevented us from doing that. That is true. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, like, I think a creature that could just prevent fighting for a turn by sacking itself would probably be power five. Kind of. I mean, like, its actual power would be five. Oh, it would be uh, five five. Yeah, it'd be like a that, five. That's five, what I love about Q Four. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, this is my six six, and also he gets me three amber. Six uh, six uh, ass whooper. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and whenever he kills a creature, you exile it and I get an amber. See, so you've seen Mars creatures. Like, this dude does, has no fucking idea. You've never played Mars? Haven't had the chance. Oh, Mars is. We have a deck with Mars. I'm going to play yeah, you'll, you'll play Mars. Um, so there's a card called, it's like Ixdil Drone or something. Uh, the nine power. Oh, Ixdil uh, Stun. Ixdil Dominator. Ixdil yeah. Dominator. Yep. He dominates. So he's a, he is a nine power, two armor. One armor. One, one armor. armor. Taunt creature that nine, enters play stunned. Nine power, one armor taunt. Uh, comes into play stunned, but he is nine power, one armor. And Mars is a very easy way to stun. So what are you going to do about it? It's not even the unstunning. You literally just leave him there to soak for the people next yeah, to him. Yeah, he comes in and starts protecting people right away. Yeah, yeah. but you know what else you can do? Whoop ass. Reap. Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously. But what's that uh, one? Uh, I think it's in Shadows that the sponge. Oh, the replicator? No, 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 no. Are no. uh, you sure you're not talking about the oh, stupid yeah, yeah, giant yeah. spider? Shadow self. No, it's giant spider. Shadow self. I'm talking about shadow, shadow self. self. Probably talking about shadow yeah. self. It's the nine power creature yes. uh, that absorbs the damage of its neighbors mm -hmm. in shadows. It's their only method of defense that they have, yep. aside from elusive, is that one guy. I wish I had that guy. He's a pretty good guy. He's a pretty good guy. So somebody plays like 
uh, all your creatures take three, and he just pops immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phoenix heart. <laughs> so good. And it's hard to come up with cards this game because yeah, we have having, no, idea no because the, it's so like the power scale is so foreign. Yeah, it's yeah so like we, we come up with a fair card and it's nowhere near as good as a <laughs> five five that card exiles card. stuff and gives you a card that something. already exists. Yeah. Uh, yep. They could put uh, the rights of spring or whatever on a creature. Which one's the rights of spring? The one that rights of fertility. fertility. Channel. Yeah. Fertility channel on a creature. Uh, oh, dude, that's that would be pretty cool. That card exists. <laughs> It's not. It doesn't get you like a ton of amber, but it is a. It's a five power that comes. It's a five power creature that comes into play. Like it gets you two amber and gives your opponent one or something like that. Is he a sanctum? Uh, no, it's an untamed. All right. So good. <laughs> so good. So good. Some wild nonsense. What kind of shit could you put on a one power creature? Uh, all right. So I got this one. literally anything. When this. When yeah. this. Uh, it's got a reap. Uh, when it reaps, you can move one captured amber from a creature you control to your amber stockpile. That or, would be nice. Yo, being, being able, being able that to exists? Do... Yeah. What faction what? is that? That's in Mars. Wait, oh, say what God, you said again. Mars. So when, whenever it's it's a reap action uh -huh. that you uh, get to move one captured amber from a creature you control to your amber supply. No. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking of a different card that lets you uh, make force your opponent to capture their own amber in Mars. But what you're describing is the uh, the fence, which is the shadows card that lets you uh, move captured amber into your supply one at a time. <laughs> That's a real card. I want that card. We're up to three. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want <laughs> that card. Oh man, it's very spicy. You have to play with like Sanctum though. Sanctum Shadows could be could be could very, be very stupid with this, those guys who Sanctum Shadows cat. Mars. Would be very uh, oh my god, that'd be so. That'd impressive. be good with the giant spider. That's about like the only the worst thing would be like. Uh, Either Sanctum or Mars, and then Dece and its shadows to just like yeah. <laughs> get dicked on. Uh -huh. Having we even having a, a Sanctum, a Sanctum shadows and Untamed, because then you're getting the Sanctum to get all those uh, all that all that armor. You got the uh, Untamed just creating amber redonkulips. And they you got the shadow. That much. Like, I don't know. Every, every, every their every creatures time, are a little better at getting amber. They're, they're yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Every time, in my experience, you know, I have not having a whole lot of experience just playing with the decks that we have. Yeah. Every time I've played Untamed, I've just been a cash cow of amber. Yeah, they're yeah. They get like middle of the road fighters and like half their actions. And then some giant dudes, and then they just get crazy amber and artifacts. Yeah, and half, half the action fertility rights. Uh, half, half, half the actions that they play as well just generate an amber right off the game. I think fertility rate might be a rare. That is a rare. Yeah. So you maybe only have one or two of those. Man, that should be a common. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's the standard? I think, well, I think the common version of that uh, gives you four of your opponent four. Uh, I think the standard for key four is like how much of these you would want to see in a deck necessarily. <clears throat> Where it's like if you had four fertility rights in your deck, you would just like win. What about a what about a card that would steal a key? What about like or unforged? But we the unforged key exists, un, right? Unforged key, but right. that doesn't count. We're still on four. Yeah, I was okay. just saying, I think that one already. Exists. I was saying being able to steal an already forged key. I so mean, there's no stealing a key yet. Oh, here we go. I got one. What about one that gives your opponent one more key to forge? What? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Adds on a fourth key. Yeah. Uh, unforge your key, unforge one of your keys. Give your opponent an additional key to forge. <laughs> yeah, it's like I see you're about to win. <laughs> Bip. So just trade up one of your keys and have them. Uh, uh, that would be pretty sweet. But how would you win then? Uh, Very <laughs> with a lot of difficulty. <laughs> Make your opponent from quit. Like, <laughs> at most a key, and they have one more key to get. All right, what other crazy crap? Could yeah, we because if you're already at. Like two keys, and you just give away your third. Uh, uh, what other crazy nonsense could we do to justify getting a key for free? The baseline for this is Epic Quest, yeah. which is an artifact that you have to play seven Sanctum cards in one turn and then tap it to forge a key for free. That's uh, all right, I got one. Uh, it's a Brobnar. Okay. You have to get 27 chains. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get uh, 20, you have to get to the top 28 chains. <laughs> Yeah, activate it and then forge a key. Uh, yep. Uh, how about this? Uh, Brobnar, you can forge a key for 18 amber, 
this cost is reduced by one for each chain you have. Yeah, all right. All right, here's one for logos. Okay, you have to target it first for neutron shark. <laughs> Neutron shark, but it tar targets your own dude, and you get an amber first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just it sits in play, uh, but you have to target with neutron shark. Oh, interesting. So it just like, so it by the rules of Key Forge, it will be in every deck that has neutron shark. Yes. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> neutron shark magnet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, neutrino shark. <laughs> neutrino <laughs> shark. <laughs> Neutrino Bobino. <laughs> like Dexter, how Dexter was never deck with Neutron Shark. Hey, this guy is, uh, Dexter's a comedy. Oh, God, I hate Dexter. Dexter's you so like good. Dexter? I don't like Dexter at Dexter's all. Good. The only way Dexter would be better is if he went to the top and then somehow immediately to your hand. I mean, I won't lie that I actively enjoy it. Like, when people get three Dextrays out, I'm like, I'm going to fuck up your draws for the rest of the game. That's what mm, I'm saying. Mm, mm, I just like it with Neutron Shark. <laughs> He's mediocre without Neutron Shark. Yeah, uh, so the Wombo combo is blow up your deck straight, put it on top of your library, mill a card, now it's Logos, and you can stop doing Neutron Shark whenever you want. Which presumably you nuked everything else on the board first. You're only now allowed to nuke your own yeah, pieces. Whatever it is you're shooting for. Are we talking about how good Neutron Shark is? Neutron Shark is 66% uh, of the time. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty darn good. Well, that's not necessarily true. It depends on what you've drawn. 33% of the time. Neutron Shark goes up once. Yeah, but sometimes once is enough. Uh, neutron Shark is the card you play when you're like, I need to destroy one or more things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this thing on is great. Anything else is fantastic. Uh -huh. And I do not care about my board at all. <laughs> or I have a Dexter, but, you know. Uh, really, really, Neutron Shark should have been Bromnar. It's well, just actually, like a Bromnar I Logos is like the king of weird symmetrical board wipes. They all yeah. they have an they have an action that is just neutron shark. Except you can stop it whenever you want. Yeah, but neutron shark is fight reap play. Fight, he's yeah. basically also an action. <laughs> yes. But yeah. Because uh, he's never survived. Bouncing Death Quark is destroy a creature you control and an enemy creature. You may repeat this process uh, for as many creatures as you can destroy. <laughs> Alright, so here's the new one. It's it's Logos and Disc because you also play the stupid Spider that gives you one whenever a punch creature dies. Tolis, the super rare that has only been seen twice. We have one. Yeah, we have one, and there's one other deck that I know of. Uh, and then you also play the Soul Factory. Everything blows up and gives everyone one. Everybody wants. Yeah. That's what I did. It was awesome. <laughs> All you gotta do is play Miasma once, and then they will forge a key, and you run away with it. Yeah. It's impossible to, like... Can't capture all the amber. You can't play bait and switch when we both have ten. <laughs> <laughs> you also can't play bait and switch if you know you're that far behind. Yeah. You can go up to twelve and then they steal six and you still four to keep. <laughs> got him. <laughs> That's what you gotta do with shadow sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta make them choke on it. <laughs> yep. Uh. Mm. I wanna see a I wanna see like a a Sanctum card with two power and five armor. No. Just like a uh, knight, uh, knight with <laughs> no, shield No, that card would be almost impossible to kill. Very small knight. Or, or how about, it would how only about, deal two damage at a time. How about yeah, I'm aware, artifact. but it would be infinite. What? Like, how about how an you, artifact how, how that you six damage increases their armor up by five? Oh, Jesus. Just like just like a sh like shield wall? Only if it stuns you. You mean like an upgrade, right? Yeah, an upgrade. Yeah. An upgrade that would give like them five armor. Uh, like, so the baseline. I know, now, they're, I know they're, they're, they're shoulder falder or the shoulder armor. Or whatever. Uh, that's plus two power. Plus two, plus two power, plus two armor. On if they're the on flank. flank. Yeah. But I mean, to have an upgrade that you could put anywhere on your board state that are in your battle line with five armor. Ah. Uh -huh. Could you imagine that's having too strong? That's way too. Oh, I'm, I thought that. I thought the whole point of the show is for me to make up cards that were awesome. <laughs> so I'm Not sorry. Fair, I thought this was I thought this was uh, nice an exception to my fortune. Honestly, I think I Omni four five, uh, uh, five, uh, five armor on each uh, four key. Honestly, I think an upgrade that uh, upgrades a creature and gives them five armor and doesn't get you an amber or shit. You can even throw chains on it. Would not be outside of the scope of crazy shit. Yeah, I mean that'd be fun. I'd, I'd even be fine with it, five armor and uh, like, gives you chains. five armor. Uh, it can't be more than one chain. Three chains to protect maybe one guy. Yeah, yeah, but it, well, if it's got a lot of captured amber, that's worth it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you get you, that's you situational. Know. All right, so what about a card that just gave him and the two adjacent creatures like three armor? Oh, that seems so close, dude. There's a, there's so a creature, four power creature that has two armor and gives his neighbors two armor each. Called yeah. Oh, we're at like four point five. Yeah. 
Okay. What do we get if we get to ten? Uh, if you go past seven, then Ian doesn't get anything. <laughs> Uh, what, what if there's a creature where it uh, gives you an amber every time you play the creature? No, no, you just change the system. I'll know for real when you get it. Uh, hunting, which is broken, dude. That's no, like, top five on the list of, like, terminate on site. Oh, yeah. Stop your whole turn, like, use the one creature you have and play to kill Hunting Witch and yeah. do nothing else on your turn. Yeah. I take some comfort in the fact that I know that odds are if you play to Hunting Witch, you probably don't have too much else to do unless you've already done it. What about uh, sacking X amount of artifacts to forge a key because you're getting rid of all those or artifacts? Or, I would say at a one to one ratio. Or, like or, sack, or, five or, or sack, uh, sack, you know, X amount of artifacts for so much amber or so on and so forth. That's five. Uh, there's a sanctum thing that lets you sacrifice all your artifacts and get two for each one. All right. Two for each one. Here's yeah, one that I think is going to get us another one, but I don't know if this card actually exists. Um, Never mind, I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really good too. Uh, so so uh, we were talking about sacrificing artifacts to get two amber each. Oh, what if the yeah, so what if it's just sack artifacts, X number of artifacts to get an amber? Or to get a key. And It'd be pretty good. I mean, so artifacts aren't that common. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. It would be like really hard to like make it yeah, up. So it's Epic Quest. Automatically. Not, like you would have but to But Epic Quest is at least doable. Yeah, you will guarantee like, to be able to do that with any deck. This deck would have to be like, you have to have six artifacts. What, right, so what if it blows up all artifacts in play, and if you blow up seven or more artifacts, Forge Key? Oh, that is a that key Forge legit. card that could exist. That definitely could. That's yeah. nice. That's the Robner free key Forge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I yeah. managed to blow up six <laughs> artifacts. Get a key. Yeah. Do well, you, you think it'd be Robner, or do you think it'd be Dis? Because, I mean, having a Dis uh, card like that, that just... Well, this is a uh, this is free key forge is key hammer where you unforge somebody else's key. <laughs> that, okay, that's true. That's right, that's right. I like it better if you just give them another key to forge. <laughs> you right like, back to the cheap forge your fourth key, Dan. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, is there any type of uh, mechanic or card that allows you to spend amber to do actions or damage? So imagine like you could have a creature and it says you can spend one of your own amber. Right now, never mind. You can spend one of your own amber to do something or spend a captured amber, you know. Say you, you have a creature that it captures amber and it can spend uh -huh. captured amber to do stuff. To do stuff. I think that's unexplored design space for sure. Yeah. There's a artifact in shadows where you can't play an artifact unless you pay the shadows player one amber. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I, yeah. I would have gotten there. Uh, there's a demon that you can't says you can't use an artifact unless you pay them one amber. Uh, I want to tap with just four of those pieces. Yeah, no, no shit. It's pretty strong control. Is it a very nice. rare? I think it might be an uncommon. I've seen it a lot. Yeah. Keyforge. Yeah. Yeah. Keyforge. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the on the on the card list the, under the uh, rarities and are they just have question marks? <laughs> just all they, they just have different squiggles. And like, you you tell me how rare it is. Maybe those are algorithms it's, you generated. It's as rare as you want it to be. Yeah. <laughs> those are all new chart chart generated. Epically epic. Common. Uh, new chart chart common. I know. That's been what if we've seen. already seen all the new chart sharks that we'll ever be seeing? <laughs> we own. We own hundred percent of the new chart shark. We we actually would probably own like twenty percent of new chart sharks. Oh. We do open a lot of new chart sharks. Got a lot of them, dude. I, I can look forward to the day that one of us opens a two new draw shark deck. Oh, <laughs> that's not even good. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad, but it's funny. Why would you want a twin Tron? Why would I want a twin Tron? Because you could play one, let it resolve, and play another. <laughs> Just in case. Yep. It's called double barrel, baby. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um. So I know there's fog bank. Or Fogify. Ooh. What about a guy who has uh, the ability to be used no matter what house is called? Seven. Yeah, that really? go. There's uh, a couple of those, actually. There's two of them in Shadows. Why is Shadows just so Why good? Why is Shadows sense? so good? Shadows is so good. So people at home, them. if you get a deck, hope Shadows is in it. Can confirm. We played for, I played for 14 hours. Shadow is, Shadows is... 
Uh, pretty tight. Until somebody proves me wrong, it's like the most powerful house I've seen. Shadows and Untamed, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, are definitely in the top. I guess it's Brobnar is up there, man. Like Brobnar uh, has the ability to control a board very fast. I, I like Brobnar. I, I don't know. Like It just seems with... Brobnar is underappreciated. I, I will agree with that. It is underappreciated. But I honestly, like in the past two games that I've played, when I literally am dropping an entire hand of Brobnar to just do nothing and then have somebody turn around like with you with the old the Duchess and just destroy my face. It's so rough. Yeah, but, but there were I many mean, games where like I watched people drop a Brob in our turn that's like five creatures that are all massive and I have nothing right, to do. Right. I'm again in my, I'm just going off of my of my fine experience. I don't say I'm not saying any of the houses are really yeah, with Robert, exception of Shadows, I would say Shadows are above the rest, but as far as what Sanctum's I've seen, pretty high there too. Armor's Sanctum's really good. good. And they have a wrath. Sanctum is they're like I feel like in the color pie of Key Forge, they're opposite shadows, where they're sort of like almost purpose built to just obliterate tiny nerds. Yeah. Because <laughs> they come in with armor, they're bigger than Shadows creatures. Like any any Sanctum dude has two armor and can trade with like 90% of Shadows creatures. If, yeah. if he has a body to first attack that Shadows creature. Yeah, you got, Sanctum's pretty much the only thing. you got Vimo's Lightbringer who just comes in and kills all elusive creatures. Just like... What's that one card in Sanctum? Um, they, uh, you heal one uh, on each damage. Oh my game, god. Game yeah, one. when your Shadows opponent plays Poison Wave and deals two damage to each creature on your turn, you play the heal all your creatures for... To heal all creatures on the battlefield you know, all for, creatures one, for one. You gain one for each, each I've gotten eight battle. off of just that. Yeah, um, I'm just like boop. <laughs> like that is explosive. I've gone from zero to so this is, so this is a podcast where we mostly talk about how excited we are about Keyforge cards. So, so what about what if there was a card that um, I was gonna say? Oh, uh, that destroyed all creatures from skirmish. Cleansing wave. Ooh, it's it's awesome. the same thing as the Beamus Lightbringer, but just for we're skirmish. up to seven. I think so. That wasn't one. Yeah, but we're up to seven. Okay. Destroy all creatures with skirmish. Yeah, I mean they could have Venus Lightbringer cycle, which just destroys yeah, all creatures yeah. with keyword. With X keyword. Yeah. Or mm. something to deal with the something to deal with uh, elusive man like. Well, there some, is Venus like, Lightbringer. Yeah. Like an artifact. Well, I'm you saying, ready for this shit? Well, I'm saying like an artifact that like uh like an entanglement artifact that'll like. Uh, this literally a creature that wipes all elusive creatures. And for a while he was very bad in our meta because we had a single elusive creature in the same deck with him, and that was it. Yeah, dude. Uh, there's also a Mars. Action that makes all creatures lose elusive for a turn. I uh, um, like that. Yeah, Vimos Lightbringer, check it out. She's a six power creature. <laughs> and, all, and also nukes all. Six, she's six power and destroys each elusive creature. That is ETB. Ridiculous. Play. Imagine her with the couple gray monks, dude. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't live in that world. I live in the world of shadows. I live in the world of shadows. Whispering uh, Reliquary uh, is. Awesome, awesome tab effects. Risk, yeah, uh, sex Action. ellipse. Tab. Sex ellipse, yeah, that's okay. what it's called. Yep. <laughs> I'm saying just, that's right. Just, uh, I agree. I mean, the, the lips are... It's very nice. So I can't really see, but the lips are super sexy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tab bouncing artifact. It's crazy. I got one. What's up? A dis artifact. Okay. Action. Mm -hmm. You may lose an amber. Okay. No. You lose an amber okay. if you do. Yeah, yeah, otherwise, why would, an amber. why would you do that action if it was bad? That's pretty nice. Sack an amber. Uh, so lose one of your ambers. Yeah, action. Ten. Lose an amber if you do. Your opponent, your opponent loses, loses or you amber. steal. Their opponent you loses. loses it. So that's, you just that's that's you good. burn one of yours to burn one of theirs. Yeah, yeah that's and good. you can do that each time you call peace. Yeah, that's fair key. Forge. That is very yeah, key. That's fair key forge. I actually really like that card. That'd be awesome. Thanks. I think it, it fit with key forge. I would probably have to give you an amber when it came into play. Yeah. yeah, that seems I, right. I bet money... Oh my god, Cleansing Wave is so good. I bet money that they... I can't think of a single artifact that just does an automatic one amber swing mm -hmm. every time you call it. Uh, There's um the one that captures... Lash of Broken Dreams exists. So and I also guess. Skeleton Key. Yeah, Skeleton Key exists. So yeah, I mean, that's Fair Key Forge. Yeah, you could you could ship that card. No. You burn me amber, I burn me amber. What about one that... Uh, it's action, pay X amber, deal X damage to a creature. That just seems bad. That seems terrible. <laughs> it'd have to be like two times. Yeah, but it's a rare. Uh, what about, what about, two times X, I'd be down. Uh, what about, what about yeah, the ability one amber to kill a two power creature? Yeah. But sometimes you gotta like. Yeah. What about an artifact that eats keys and returns you amber? So could you imagine 
Does and your opponent's key? Yeah. It, or does it, your it opponent steals, give you four it, keys? It, it, it steals one of your opponent's keys, and okay. it gives you that gives six you, amber. Gives you that amber back. That that or captures it onto. With the way the keyboard so, works, so it takes one your of their opponent keys. will have to get some benefit. It out take, of it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It takes one of their keys and just captures it onto your board. So if they destroy them, you can get okay. those. Uh, like unforge. No, that'd be terrible. Unforge your. Again, forge your guys, opponent's key, forge one of your keys, and your opponent gains 12. No, you don't forge one of your keys. You just unforge one of theirs, and you gain 6. And, and you, 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 Wait, are you, 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 you unforge one of the keys, and you capture the hammer on your So you're suggesting key hammer, but also... <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that even works. Right, right, right. No, no, no. So, you're, so what you're suggesting is key hammer. First which of all, is... when we're at a show where I'm supposed to make up with people's cards, <laughs> please don't talk to me like I'm an idiot. <laughs> The whole point of me was to sit there and go, win this card, but cool. yes. it exists, not that card exists, you dumb piece of shit, stupid motherfucker. Well, thank, you for right. bringing, thank you for bringing me on the show where I guess for cards. <laughs> I understand how it turned from, hey, coming up fun, Scott, to you fucking suck at not knowing the cards you don't know. <laughs> because this is the new Japanese game show. You yeah. Should, <laughs> what you should have done was watch the previous episodes. <laughs> well, I, I apologize. I walked, I walked into this blind. If you had watched the previous episodes, you would have expected us to be like, what about a magic card where it's like, see, see what? Because we're all very tired. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad I caught you on a good day where you're all going to fucking oh, slam jam my face. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh. That was inaudible. They didn't hear a word of that. I got all travel frogs. For like five minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> This is a ribbon. Is this the end? I so I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that we got eight. So, so Grimshock is nothing. So Grimshock is nothing. Yeah. Good. At least my job is incomplete. Seven. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> that I meant that. That's, that's the best thing. <laughs> that's like where you do the company bingo pool and then reveal yeah, the results yeah. after you get fired. I, I bet with these dudes that you guys would come up with like. X number of cards that already exist. He bet three. He bet seven. I bet at four. least seven. <laughs> at least seven. So I guess you. I said probably two. three. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I was. I'll just do what I want. I'll get you both decks. That's fine. Uh, uh, that is that what we're gonna do for Secret Santa this year? Is get just get decks. Just, just give each other decks. I'm gonna make weird bets about what I think my friends are gonna do, and then give them keyboard decks. So are we all just gonna start betting on random things in the store for keyboard decks. Mean, it is football season. Oh. So that I sounds great. Don't watch. I feel like we should probably just line. get like a case and put it in the bag, and that way everybody <laughs> can have a set number. I'm in. Yep. How much? Uh, how many decks are in a case of keyboards? Twelve. Yeah, but those. I thought those were like pre-release ones. That's the cases have twelve. Did you? Is that supposed to be like those that? Those are for the pre-release. Yeah. Yeah, well, they haven't been the, the, the packaging on the outside. Oh, uh, shit. I took but... one out of the package and take a picture for social media. Uh, I'm just saying, look at the sticker on top. Slot. Yeah, those are for the those are the thing. I'm very excited for us to get products so I can get some more decks. Oh, yeah. Too. All right, we we ended this podcast a little while ago in my mind. Yep. All right. It's been real. CMC Seven. Happy Key Forge. Uh, this will be out after the pre-release, but I'm very excited for it. Woo! See you all around. <laughs>